Hi Soapies, Sherry here for Misty Dimness AMD Soap. Today I'm making a buttermilk soap. This is a specialty Christmas item for the store that I had ar have already had requests for. I will be making this soap in three separate layers so that each layer is smooth. So today I'm using a 1% stearic acid recipe. Um, for the buttermilk portion, I am using cultured buttermilk powder. I'm using Crafter's Choice Wild Peach Poppies Fragrance Oil. This is comparable to Bath and Body Works fragrance. Its fragrance notes are sparkling Prosecco, Peach Melba, Water Fruit, Magnolia, and Sugared Musk. It has a 0% vanillin content. And for acceleration and racing, I saw one review that commented on racing. I don't remember it racing before, it, but I do remember a slight acceleration, which makes it perfect for layers. The colors today that I'm using are water-soluble titanium dioxide from Crafter's Choice, red-orange oil locking mica, also from Crafter's Choice. I don't think they carry this one anymore. I will double check. If they do carry it, I will post a link in the description. And I'm also using Micas and More Strawberry Pink Mica. On top of the soap, I have mixed up, for the top of the soap, I have mixed up Micas and More Stellar White Mica in vegetable glycerin. And I'll drizzle that on and do a swirl technique on the top, just to give it a little bit of extra sparkle. So into each one of my buckets here, I've divided my um, my oils into three. I've also separated out my buttermilk powder, my colors, and my fragrance. This middle bucket has no colors in it because it is um, going to be a white layer. This layer looks very, very pink, but due to the way that the, the mica changes, with the pH of the soap, it's actually going to be an orangey color with the addition of the titanium dioxide in my lye solution. It actually looks very peach colored. Um, it just works really great. Um, the soap tends to get very hot, and I expect the additional stearic acid will make it hotter, so I plan to put this in the fridge for 24 hours. So let's make soap. I'm going to go way off my lye water into the correct amounts to add to each batch. I'm going to stick blend each one and pour each one separately. I'll stop the video at the required time so you can see what each layer looks like um, after I've mixed it and as I'm pouring it. So before I add the lye solution to each oil batch, I am going to stick blend each one. Um, just to combine the colorant and the buttermilk powder. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the one that has no colorant. So here is the first layer. You can see it got thick quite fast. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the mold. So you can see with the addition of the stearic acid, the buttermilk, uh, slightly accelerating fragrance oil, this soap is really, really thick and gloopy. I'm really having to work to push it into the mold. We will make do. Um, my layers won't be as straight and as lovely as I hoped for, but we will make this work. I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Here's layer one in the mold. You can see I had a little bit more difficulty towards the end, but I think we'll be okay. I'm actually going to stick blend uh, just a little bit less and see if I can get something that's a little bit better to put into the mold. I know it's still going to be difficult, though. Mark. So here is layer two. You can see I stick blended a little bit less, did a little bit more hand stirring. Um, this is probably about... 20 seconds total of messing with it. Okay. 
Okay, so we've been learning something with every layer on this soap. This time I didn't even try to move the mold off camera just to see if I could actually get this to pour in time before it started seizing up on me. And I'm really, really close. So you can see how fast this 1% steric with an accelerating FO is moving. Mark. So here is our stellar white mica that we are going to do just a, a quick dusting on the top if I can catch it. This stuff is really, really fine. So it gets really floaty in the air. And then I'm going to give it a quick blow. just to move as much as possible and a spritz without rubbing alcohol and then I'm hauling this one off to the freezer. Oh my goodness. Learn something every time I make soap. If you like watching me make soap, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and check out my other soaps at AMD Soap. Dot com. Stay soapy.